An explanation of a simple example here of a review of one process area in production in a manufacturing process. So here are the eight fundamental types of waste. Uh, and the basic idea is that if you overproduce, then you have to do a lot of transportation of these parts and finished products, and you have to keep some in inventory when during inventory. Uh, some of them might already be defective, you will find out later, or even by be simple, uh, simply by the fact that they have been in inventory for too long, some of them will deteriorate, uh, then you need to rework them, this is uh, over-processing, or also when you, uh, when you, when, when you do the, their, their production, uh, the operators simply have too many process steps, it doesn't make sense. Uh, people move or have to walk around too much. They get they get tired. They just wait a lot of their time. Um, or sometimes they have to wait. For example, a machine is down, or uh, production planning was not very good, or maybe they're, they're waiting for some material for sub from suppliers and so on. Uh, and so all of these are relatively straightforward. Uh, they date back to the Taishi Ono days at Toyota. And then some consultants and writers suggested we add the uh, unutilized talents and creativity of the people. So this is the last one here. Um, this is the simple definitions of what I went through. These are some examples so for inventory, uh, too much raw material, or work in process on the shop floor, or finished goods. These are some very typical ways that we can uh, detect some of these um, this type of, of, uh, of, of defects. Um, to motion, as I say, too much physical movement, maybe poor layout, the resulting in excess movement by the operators, and, and, and so on and so forth. Okay, then the person doing the review, doing the analysis, will select either high, medium, or low. So high level of waste, uh, potential of many changes to reduce the level of waste. Sometimes we see something and then it's just uh, <laughs> screaming for uh, improvements. And sometimes, well, relatively low, relatively low level of waste. Uh, it's already been squeezed out pretty, uh, pretty well. Uh, and then you have this uh, this this color uh, color grading uh, come up automatically based on the 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 level that was chosen and a little bit of description here um, just so that the uh, people who read it will actually relate it to what actually happened in their work area so. Um, Defects, low, well, good quality control throughout the production process, multiple checks, da, da, da. it all makes sense, good process controls, and so on, okay, great. And then here, uh, waiting, high, because one of the systems was down, so one of the equipment, uh, pieces of equipment was down, uh, people were just waiting, not having anything to do, well, that's pretty obvious. How to avoid things to break down during production and impact uh, impact production and obviously reduce the amount of production also that day. Uh, preventive maintenance um, is usually the, the right approach. So that's, that's an example. I hope it helps you understand how to use the template but really the key message here is to drive this into people's heads. Okay, these are the kinds of of, of waste, the fundamental sources of waste, try to see it in your work area and once people start to see it, if they really pay attention, then they really they start to see it everywhere. Okay, And then some people really get on a mission, okay, I'm gonna drive out waste. Some people get motivated by that because the waste, uh, lang fei in, in Chinese, uh, obviously, I mean, nobody says I like waste, right? And some people really get motivated by that. Uh, it opens their eyes on ways to improve their uh, their processes. So with that, I hope it's helpful. And uh, let us know if you uh, have any questions or need any help. Thank you.